Hello everyone, and uh, today it's Hobos for the win, and I'm going to be covering uh, what the uh, Azulian Dragon uh, event thingy uh, is. Right now, I'm in the Uber 3 world, and in approximately one minute or two minutes, I'm going to get a quest in the corner that says I have to go to a certain biome and kill a certain amount of mobs. Sorry, and do a certain amount of dungeons, right? And basically, if you do 10 dungeons, you get two Azulian Dragon Caches, which you can open up and either get essences coins and other loot like that and uh, three essences one coin and a couple of other loot can get you a soul and five and one soul gets you oh there it is I have to go to the Fey wilds complete the dungeons in the Fey wilds and uh, if I had a shadow hunter or a candy barbarian class I'd be able to do uh, one dungeon would count as three that's the bonus or if I was in the uber 5 or uber 6 world that would be the bonus as well so we're gonna fly over to the fey world which is right through the Kandoria right here and then we're gonna get to do this real quick <laughs> alright we gotta do 10 dungeons and in 20 minutes and hopefully when I open up the caches I can get uh, dragon essences or dragon coins and uh, like I was saying before one dragon, uh, you can use the essences and coins to craft a soul, and one dragon soul gives you a little ally. Five of them gives you a mount, and then I and I think uh, I'm not sure. I have to check. But I'm pretty sure it's like 30 of them gives you a mount that flies, and then 50 of them gives you a mount that uh, did with like better stats, and uh, it can like shoot fireballs and stuff like that. We're just gonna go through. I can check right now. I mean, it's in badge rewards, I'm pretty sure. So, which is. What is that? Why? Yeah, that's why. Badges. Okay. Uh. I was doing Dragon Ascension. See, uh, 1 gives you an ally. 5 gives you a mount. Uh, 15 gives you a mount, which is, I guess, is a, a Zulian Dragon tool, like bigger. Uh, 30 gives you the one that can fly, I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure 15 can fly as well. And then the last one lets you shoot fireballs and gives you 10% max health, one jump, and uh, 50 magic finds, which is pretty nice. So we're just gonna run through this dungeon here. Activate the crystal skulls, put down the bombs, blow them up, and they're dead. And uh, here comes the second round. Fairly easy. There you go, and as you can see in the corner, it says 1 out of 10 completed. So let's go to the next dungeon. As you can see on the compass, the next dungeon is this one, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And I already, this is the entrance, I hope. Alright, let's go to the entrance. And uh, I guess I can stop the recording here and just oh, and just pick it up as soon as I'm about to kill the boss all ten times, I guess. Yeah, that's Uh, so, uh, alright, I found the Dark Fate Queen down here. I'm just gonna turn into my, uh, I'm just gonna use my ult because it's gonna take a lot of damage. Group them up, put down the bombs, and they're dead. Nice, gotta get the queen. Really important to get the cannons that she spawns in the back because they do a lot of damage. All right, that's gonna set us off at uh, two out of ten. So uh, as I was going about doing these uh, dungeons, I forgot to mention that uh, you only get these this type of quest thing once you're past mastery thirty. So uh, it's a good thing to level up your mastery first, and then uh, and then you can start doing these things and hopefully get a cool dragon mount. And I think we got the, the cursed skulls right here, so you can start doing that too. Dracolite has probably got to be one of my favorite classes. Just on how well he can just group and then take damage and boom, just nuke him down. It's so easy. It was the first class I started with, actually. And, uh, 
I really like it. Second, I'd say that that is the best thing like that is uh, Knight or Candy Barbarian. They're really, really tanky. And you can just group up all the mobs together and boom, get them done in like uh, quick, like 30 seconds. It's really nice. I think the mob, I mean the uh, boss is up here through the corner. I think we just did a dungeon that looks just like this. Yeah, there she is. Or oh, there he is. We set up a bomb. And this one. But yeah, when I'm in my ultimate form, I just do crazy amount of damage. I, get, I become so tanky. Man. Getting a little low there. I have to get health potion. And that's gonna clock us in at uh, right, four. Uh, out of ten. We got the uh, the next uh, boss right here, the Dark Fate Queen. So I'm just gonna go into my ultimate, group them together, put down the bomb, just blow the bomb. Boom! Lost her minions gone. So I'm just gonna target her. Put down some bombs, blow the bombs, and uh, she's gone too. And that's gonna be number five. Uh, so uh, while I was going about. My journey looking for these, these dungeons, I came across a cornerstone, and uh, I decided to put my thing down so I could uh, use a rejuvenation station and get my six health potions back to make a total of 16. And now there's going to be a, uh, a dungeon right here, I'm pretty sure. I think this is a dungeon, I'm not sure. I think you have to go behind the waterfall. Yeah, that's cool. I've never done one like that, that's weird. And then you go through the door here, fall down, and I don't know, some of these dungeons just get so complicated. Yeah, okay, there you go. She's hiding from me, man. She doesn't want the deeps. Boom. Alright. Now, let's go find another dungeon. We only have 10 minutes left, and we're 6 out of 10. But first, I gotta get this primordial flame. It's always good to get it. It's used for to craft a lot of important stuff, so that's why. Whenever I see it, I just stop to get it. Kill this guy. All right, now where is the entrance? I can just put on my bombs or right? just bomb my way through. If I can't find it, I think it's all the way at the top, maybe. Oh yeah, it's one of these ones, the houses. I've done this one so many times. I'm just gonna run through all these trash mobs. I just go for the boss. All right. These ones are a lot easier than the ones where you kill a boss because it doesn't really spawn a boss, just spawn a bunch of these mobs. So like I said before, I'm really good at group killing. Put down all of them. Boom. That's gonna be 7 out of 10. I don't think I'm gonna make it. So, uh, I was, as soon as I exited this dungeon that we did right here, I got a Titan dropper. Uh, I don't know what they're called, I just call them Titans. Basically, uh, when you're like alone, or when you're even with people, there's a chance that a giant robot alien type of thing could just fall from the sky and uh, try to kill you. And if you're with more people, there's a higher chance of him spawning. And uh, they they deal a fair bit of damage, but they don't have much health. So you try to, you you want to kill them as fast as possible because they do deal a lot of damage. Not on like their basic attacks, but when like that, or when they do the stabbing attack. But they can drop some really, really cool looking swords, which is uh, really nice. So let's go through this dungeon here and kill the Dark Fae King. He's going to be down here. Oh, no. No. There you go. Uh, I hate these ones. Where'd I go? <laughs> oh, there you go. Back here. 
I hate how close these dungeons are. It's hard to look around. I think he's gonna go to the smiley face and boom, there he is. Put down some bombs. Nuke health. Dragon form. Heal. Put down more bombs. Heal. Put down more bombs. And... So, uh... When you get enough cubits, you can buy, uh... Emblems, right? And I bought this emblem that, that is, uh... What an emblem is, like, it's like a special thing that you do every time you use your heal spell. So I bought this emblem that every time I use my heal spell, I get all my energy restored, which I find really helpful. Because then I can just put down all my bombs, press Q, put down all my bombs, press Q, put down all my bombs. I get six bombs already out there. I activate all the bombs. It, it completely destroys their health. And, uh, here I can show you here, look. Put down two bombs, health button, put down two bombs, health button, put down two bombs, and I'm gonna set them all off. The explosion was so big it caused me to like lag a little bit or my frames to drop. Alright, let's go through here. Oh my gosh, another cursed stone. It's not that I don't mind it, it's just it's so boring. You know what I mean? There's no real challenge to it. Especially the ones in the adventure world, like the ones in shadow arenas, they're they're a little bit they're pretty challenging. But the ones in like the normal world are just so boring. And it looks like my looks like my thing is full, my inventory. But I really want to finish this and not run out of time. So oh snap. Uh oh uh oh, how much more time do you have? We have six minutes to do one dungeon. Okay, good. We have this three-star dungeon we can do. And here's the first boss. There you go. Look at that. That's gonna make us done, then, I guess. And we can open up the caches. Oh, my God. He does damage. Put me down to half. Half health. Half health. Okay. Um, and he's, like, conjuring. He's, like, ice. Blocks the ball from the sky. It's crazy. All right. Now let's find a cornerstone, deconstruct my stuff, and open up these dragon caches. So uh, after you do 10, you can do 40 more to get two more dragon caches. But uh, f doing 40 more dungeons is crazy. That's 50 total I have to do on my Draco. Oh, look at that. To do on my Draco life. But if you have the bones, like if each dungeon counts for three, then it's a lot easier, obviously. But since I don't, I don't it doesn't say Draco light, right? As a bonus. I'm uh, not gonna go for it, the extra two. Plus, I only have like five minutes left. Alright, let me go to the loot collector and put all this junk in here. This, 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 that, 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 that. Try to be careful I don't deconstruct something useful. Boom. Alright, now let me put my crafting items eyes flames mushrooms this I'm gonna open right now golden souls fairy dust and we'll put this right here so let's open it up hope we get something good I usually never get anything that good okay 15 eyes and then another 50 eyes that, that's not bad it's just not that good. I have around fire. Uh, I've gotten so many eyes, and I got these power rings for my alts. Now I'm gonna give them later, though. I can't give it now. All right. This is pretty useful. Hmm. You know what? I'll probably equip this ring right now. Let me just see. I have health regeneration here. Health regeneration there. <laughs> hmm. It'd be better if I had this here, because this also gives me energy regeneration. Yeah, I'll put it on. You know what? Oh, what? Where'd I put it? What? Did I put it in here? Oh, what the hell? I put it in my, uh, my personal chest. That's weird. Let's put this ring on right there. 
Because I have a shadow ring, and shadow rings are really hard to come by, so I'll keep that as well. So let's see here now. Let me see, check my stats. Health regeneration. Energy regeneration is really good. 197, that's good. But I got 15k health too, and my health regeneration is lacking. I want to see how slow it's gotten. I'll just get attacked. Oh, yeah. It's about a hundred. Hmm. It's hard to say. The thing is, I do have 16 health potions, so it's not like I have to worry. Okay, let me see my energy regeneration. That must be crazy fast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's fast. I'll be able to put down a lot of bombs. A lot of bombs. That's gonna be fun. And obviously, in the future, I could also change it up and uh, switch between the rings, I guess. Like, whenever I'm uh, tanking, I'll put on this ring. Right, I need to do damage and have, have regen. And whenever uh, I'm not like tanking and I'm just doing damage, I'll put on the ring that I have right now. And uh, I hope you guys thought this video was interesting. A short, brief, like, uh, introductory type of thing to uh, the Azulian Dragon event. And this event happens every single hour. So, uh, next time it's going to happen is going to be, you know when the hour comes around so around 11 o'clock then 12 then 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 and it keeps going so you can you can get a lot of caches in one day which is uh is really nice